Who is it? Who is it? Who's on the line Hello. with us? There he is. Hi, uh, this is this is Andy. Candidly, how, how's 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 Blasco doing today? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You, you tell me. How is he doing today? Uh, I, I think I think he's doing well. I think so. I mean, I'm proud of him. But uh, <laughs> what about you? Uh, you know, I think uh, I tell you what. I'm ready to hire him, man. You know, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if it's why I want to hire him. I'm just fucking jealous. I haven't had that much hair in my whole fucking life, Andy, and it bums me out big time. Um, well, I gotta say this, man. If you hire him, that's a wise move. I did it when I was 17. Worked out well for me. <laughs> let so. me ask you. You know, let me ask you about that real quick while I got you. This is first off. Let me thank you for joining us here. This is is fun stuff. You know, we get a lot of young musicians here that are starting off. People that are trying to figure out how to do it. And you guys are on a great path. And and the part I love the most is how you guys really kind of own your whole thing there. How important is it in getting a manager early on in your career? Um, you know, honestly, we we when we first started, we didn't have any real management or representation, um, and we kind of bounced around between different people who were kind of classic mismanagers. We had a few different people in the early days who uh, took us on, and I actually wound up getting a phone call from one of them uh, telling me that Black Hill Brides would never be anything, and would, he would never have anything to manage. And thank God that that guy did that, because about a week later, I was in a position where I had no manager, and had a booking agent who was able to introduce us to, to Blasco. And, um, you know, it, it was kind of luck of the draw for me. Uh, Blasco is somebody that, obviously, I, I, his career I was usually respected and looked up to, but I didn't really know him on a personal level at all. And I, uh, I drove my, my crappy car over to his office, and it, it caught fire on the way there, and I pushed it the rest of the way. And uh, I, I met with him, and we, we got lunch together, and we just clicked. And I'd like to say that there was some sort of grand... Uh, plan to, to get Blasco in the mix or something, but really it was just luck, and I happened to be fortunate that I met somebody that was so akin to my interests and uh, really had the same ideas as me and, and really wanted to push the band forward on the same level that I did at such a young age because, you know, I don't know that this band would be in the position that it's in if it wasn't for him. Well, I, I think, you know, I love hearing that from artists because I think with all the successful bands out there, Andy, uh, so many of them had, have had somebody on board from their earliest days, and... Um, you know, I recall we talked about Doc McGee back in the early days with Bon Jovi and Scorpions and Motley Crue, and it's a big, important part of the mix. Uh